Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Pooh Shiesty, man, and WAC 100. Now, for those of you who don't know, Pooh Shiesty is a Memphis rap star who is climbing to the heights of hip-hop, man. Dude was really killing it out here with his collab with Lil Dirk back in blood, going platinum, and his mixtape doing well, man. Dude was really doing his thing, man. But it seems things start to go down for Pooh Shiesty once he caught these cases in Florida, man. So he's been fighting these cases. He's been locked up a long time, man. I think almost all of last year. Like, I, he got locked up at the beginning of last year. It's been a long time, man. He's had many attempts at trying to get released, you know, or, or pre-trial release. And they've all failed. They've all been denied, man, because he was out for one shooting case and then caught another alleged shooting case. You know what I mean? So it just wasn't looking good on his behalf. Now, something that Pusha I see has always been able to stand on was the fact that people respected his gangster. People respected the fact that he, the stuff that he talked about him, his homeboys and all them, they seemed like they was really about that. Now, one thing they've always touched on is no telling, no snitching. And according to some stories out there, WAC 100 came to social media and said that Pooh Shiesty broke that rule, man. Now, before we get to the specifics and play these clips, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this Pooh Shiesty situation, man. Now, WAC 100 is an integral figure in the West Coast hip-hop scene. And really, he's spread his, his reach even further than that, man. Because if you go over to the Clubhouse app, the rooms that he's in, they seem to be the biggest as far as hip-hop news and stories like that, right? Now, he broke a lot of ground on the Clubhouse app as far as people communicating and sharing stories. Now, WAC 100, for those of you who don't know, is he's a manager of the rapper The Game. He's a manager of Ray J, I believe, still. And he's the manager of Blueface, man. He's been in a lot of high-profile stories, like the whole Christian Rock situation, and a lot of things like that. And he does like to poke around into things that are going on throughout hip-hop and holding people to the standards that they seem to profess. Now, with Pooh Shiesty, he went on social media and basically put it out there that Pooh Shiesty was telling on two people, allegedly. You know, that's what it seems like. I don't want to say that that's what he's saying directly because he didn't say it directly to me. But once you listen to this clip, y'all tell me what you think. Actually, let's check it out. Is somebody name in Pooh Shiesty paperwork? No, nah, his name's in Bushiesty paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Bushiesty yeah, talked, yeah. talked about two niggas in his paperwork because he got two co-defendants. In, in his proffer, he mentioned both of them. Everything on that paper is what you didn't confirm. Good is somebody name in Bushiesty paperwork? No, nah, his name's in Bushiesty paperwork. Bushiesty talked about Bushiesty talked about two niggas in his paperwork because he got two co-defendants. In, in his proffer, he mentioned both of them. Everything on that paper is what you didn't. Confirmed. Okay, now as you heard in that short clip, WAC 100 and some of the folks who were in that room on Clubhouse were basically saying there were two names in Pooh Shiesty's paperwork, man. Meaning there were two people who he included into his paperwork or into his statements, man. And this isn't a good look because it makes it seem like Pooh Shiesty is out here telling. Now, if you go to look for that information, it's it, you, you basically can't find it, man. It's been sealed up. I don't know, is it the publicity or too much traffic towards it, but it's been sealed up so far. So I can't tell you that that's facts. All I do know is when it comes to Clubhouse and it comes to exposing people, WAC 100 is usually on top of it, man. He's definitely one of the people to be first to get it out there if there's anybody not living by the code that they profess. Now, this isn't saying that if people on there are promoting, you know, people not telling or anything like that. You know, they, they, there's clear distinctions between who's professing something that they live in and they're not and somebody who's actually being a good citizen. You know, I like the fact that everybody makes that determination. You see what I'm saying? But man, when it comes to Pooh Shiesty, it just seems out of character. And it's got a lot of his fans perplexed. They're thinking like, man, what in the world? Mr. Shiesty is out here telling, man? But when you look at his case and you think of all the time he was facing, I mean, is it a possibility? Yes. I mean, let's be real, man. Who wants to do all that time? And essentially, he was looking at a life sentence, possibly. So let's talk about Pooh Shiesty's case, man. Now, in a, in a news article about his last case update from the ABC News, it said this, the rapper Pooh Shiesty pleads guilty to federal gun charge. Now, rapper Pooh Shiesty has pleaded guilty to a federal gun charge in Florida 
and avoided a possible life sentence. Think about that, man. He had to make a plea deal to avoid a life sentence, you know, or he'd have to go to trial and possibly, you know, the outcome of the trial if he lost would be a life sentence, which would be horrible for him in his career. Now, in Miami, rapper Pooh Shicey has pled guilty to federal gun charge in Florida and avoided a possible life sentence. Lontrell Williams Jr., 22 years old, pleaded guilty in Miami federal court to conspiring to possess firearms in furtherance of a crime of violence, drug trafficking, and according to court records. The Tennessee native faces up to 20 years in prison, although attorneys for both sides have recommended a sentence of about eight years. The commercial appeal reported, a judge will determine William's sentence at a later hearing. So it, what I can deduce from that is that Pooh Shiesty was looking at a possible 20 years even after pleading guilty. And they said, nah, even though the attorneys on the on the uh, prosecutor side said they're probably going to be hitting them with eight years. Now, Pooh Shiesty recently went to social media and made a post that made it seem like he was going to be out sooner than that, man. He actually made a post on social media that had people like, oh, is Pooh Shiesty getting out of here? You know what I mean? And I think that's what's feeding this rumor that he was possibly telling. Besides the fact that, you know, WAC 100 and those, those people, they actually profess to have the paperwork that shows that in his transcripts or in the uh, proffer statement that he brought in two people's names or told on two people. Now, I'm not sure. I like, man, like when it comes to that type of stuff, I always like to say, man, I haven't seen it myself, so I'm not going to say that's 100% facts. But, man, that is the rumor that's going out there. Now, the story ends by saying this. It says, as part of a plea deal, prosecutors dropped three charges, including a gun charge that had po a possible maximum life sentence in prison. The newspaper reported, according to court records, the charges related to three separate events. Williams was inside a car in Memphis, Tennessee in July 2020 when an occupant of a car discharged a firearm at a gas station, officials said. Then just three months later, Williams was a part of an armed group that shot and wounded two people and stole some substances and high-end sneakers at a hotel in Miami area of Bay Harbor Island. So that's the Bay Harbor Island shooting that they're talking about there. That's the one he's received the biggest charges on, the most of his charges. Now, finally, Williams shot and wounded a security guard following a performance at a Miami strip club in May 2021, prosecutors said. Pooh Shiesty first gained attention following collaborations with Gucci Man and other rappers. He released his debut commercial mixtape, Shiesty season last February. It peaked to number three on the U.S. Billboard charts. So basically just telling, you know, what he's looking at now. Now, he's still facing sentencing. He still has to be sentenced. So uh, any information about that will probably come out to the news and the media because this has been a highly publicized case. But what do y'all think, man? Do y'all think that Pooh Shiesty was facing too much time so he felt the pressure to put some people in the case that didn't need to be in it? Or do you feel like this is all, you know, rumor, man? Like, I don't know. It just seems out of character for Pooh Shiesty for y'all. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.